What's up, Video Fort Nation? I'm Magic Bard, and for today I'm going to show you how to do this anime fidget spinners transition. Let's uh, check it out really quick. Hey, Bozo! Are you ready for my stylish moves? My spinner's razor sharp! <laughs> okay, so that's basically what we're going to do. This little, um, it's almost like an Edgar Wright type transition now let me just turn this audio down and you know we're gonna have that slash through add a couple of effects in there and it'll be a cool little transition that you guys can do on your next music video or epic little visual effects shot so uh, let's check it out see what we can accomplish on this one so basically all you're gonna need is two shots okay so I have this shot of my uncle sanding a door and then onto the paint. So, you know, I'll break it down really quickly right here and then we'll get into a step by step of how to do this transition. So, first, you can see I have the two shots right here that I pre composed. So, if you um, put your footage into a composition and pre compose it like this, that way all you have to do is just replace these pre comps with other footage clips and that that way you don't have to redo the whole uh, transition every time so that's a nice little way to create a <clears throat> template so after that you're going to create a track mat and create a short little animation so if I press U, I can show you the keyframes for that and have that slice through and then open it up that's how I did the animation um, and then right above that I just duplicated that track mat to create a white stroke on top of that I created the particles bottom and then the particles top which is using the CC particle worlds effect so once again you guys don't need any plugins for this tutorial very exciting and that is it these are just null objects that I used for uh, um, viewing purposes so you guys don't even need that so um, let's get into the step-by-step -step and try to get this one done as quickly as possible so what I'm gonna do is take my one of my clips bring it into and drag it into a new composition like that and you know I'm not really gonna time this one out I'm just going to pick a nice little place where I'm gonna do this transition right about here and then I'm in let's just call this the uh, the um, Edgar Wright transition then I'm gonna take my other clip and put it right on top so right here and drag it to where I want that transition to happen so as you can tell this is a 4k clip so I'm just gonna have to press S size it down and we'll be good to go right here so first things first is you're gonna to want to create that track mat so I'm gonna go into layer new solid and you know the color doesn't matter so that'll be good there and I'll just call this the transition mat and now you can create whatever shape you want this transition to be so I'm gonna try and keep it just like the tutorial I'm gonna take my pen tool and just create a slash across the screen so I'm gonna go like this like this and I'm gonna make a little point almost like an arrow and like that okay so this will be the overall look of the transition then you guys can really uh, finesse these lines to make them parallel to each other um, and what you're gonna do is start to keyframe it so open up the mask parameters so just twirl down these little triangles and we are going to keyframe this mask pass so I'm gonna go out about four frames so I'm gonna hit page down four times one two three four I'm gonna set a keyframe for my mask path then go to the very beginning and take this whole mask and just move it up into the corner like right here and then we're gonna have this animation of it sliding into place like that okay and then what I'm gonna do is add another maybe 12 frames so press the page down button on your keyboard 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 I'm going to add a keyframe there go another four frames one two three four and then I'm gonna expand this so that the whole composition is red so I'm gonna take these two points up here and just move it up 
so that the whole thing is red. And then I can also just take this line and move it up or move it down. So now we have a full red composition and what this will um, exemplify is our next clip right here. So let's just check out that animation really quickly. It'll go, it'll come in like that and open up. Cool. And remember guys, you can use whatever shape you want. It doesn't have to be a slash. So then what we can do, and like I said before, what I would do is pre-compose these. Okay, so just select the first bottom clip, go to layer pre-comp, and you can even just call it first clip and um, move all attributes, okay. And then on this next one, do the same thing, layer, uh, pre-compose, second clip, press okay. So then that way, um, all you have to do is just replace the footage inside. Okay, so you know if you wanna do this transition a couple of times in your video, just put another clip on top of that and that way you'll have a template created. Okay, cool, so now we've got this nice little track mat that we made of the transition and now all we have to do is click on your top clip, your second clip, click on the toggle switches and modes and then right under track mat, just hit that and hit on alpha, um, alpha mat. So that way, it'll create this nice little transition. Okay, and let me just zoom in here. Now what we want to do is add that white stroke onto the footage, just like the, uh, the fidget spinners video. So what I like to do for reference is just re-look at what I'm trying to create. And um, let's see if we can time it up here. Oops, 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 oops. Here, come on. If I can get right on it. Okay, so <laughs> this is good enough. Um, so you can see the white stroke. You can also see uh, the particles. So we'll create that with CC Particle World. And then there's a little bit of a glow. So um, what we're going to do is duplicate this transition mat. So just Command D to duplicate it. Show it. Okay, so click on that visibility switch. And go into here and type in stroke. So you're going to use the um, stroke generator and that's in your effects and presets. And then into here, you can turn up the brush size to a thickness that you agree with right there and um, turn up that hardness to 100%. We want a nice clean cut, okay? And then you could change that color to whatever you want. Now we need to turn the opacity of that red off. So just go into your mask and mask opacity, turn that to zero, okay? So now we've got our nice little white stroke in there. Maybe we want to turn that up to 9.5. Okay, that looks good. And let's add some effects to that. So let's just call this our white stroke. And so the first effect I'm gonna add is a glow. And let me just throw that on right under the stroke. And these are the settings for the glow that I have. So just make sure that the uh, color channels, click it on alpha channel, and then change the color A, color B to whatever color of the glow you want. So I'm gonna go with like a red and maybe a yellow. And you can see it updating um, up here and down here, right? So we're gonna go with that on the glow radius. Let's go with a 30, so turn it up a bit so you can start to really see that glow start to pop. Um, we can even turn up the threshold a little bit as well. And um, glow intensity, that one is really up to you. I don't really want it so much, so I'm going to go with a 0.9. Looks good to me. And then uh, the rest is really up to you. So just play around with these settings to get exactly what you want and you guys will be good to go. So we've got the glow. Now let's add one more effect called a drop shadow, which will add a nice little black um, separation in between it all. So I'm gonna turn this opacity up to maybe 80. And um, let's see, softness zero, that's good. Uh, distance, you can play around with that so you can see that in there as well. I'm gonna go back to where it was. And then if you just, scrub through it you can see you know we have a nice little drop shadow 
on there as well. Okay, so that looks cool. Now what we want to do is add the particles effect. So go into layer, wait, make sure that your composition is selected. Go into layer new, um, solid, and we'll just call this our particles bottom. Okay, so we're gonna create two separate particles, the bottom layer and then the top. So um, right here, I'm just gonna change the coloring of this to yellow so we can tell the difference. And um, go into your effects and presets, type in particle, and we're gonna use CC particle world. Okay, now we're gonna create our particle system. So open up that grids and we can just turn off all of these grids because they're kind of in the way right now. Then we can close that back close that grid back down and um, try out these settings and remember all these settings are uh, you can just play around with them so longevity I'm gonna go with a point six one okay so that's the uh, the rate that it'll die off at right these particles um, birth rate we can go with a uh, you know two's good but we'll go with a 2.2 add a little bit more now these are all the settings I used on my last um, on my example right and then uh, let's go into our physics and try these out explosives fine um, you can mess around with these other ones but uh, velocity will go with a 0.5 and then gravity is the one you're gonna want to change and mess around with um, you know the more gravity you have the farther down these particles will go and I don't really care about having them just blast off screen so we'll go with that and um, resistance I'll go with a 2 so that makes it harder for the particles to leave its birth place which is the center there and um, that looks good to me from there now the producer is what we're going to keyframe for this so I'm just going to trim this down to where the transition happens and I'm going to hit that transition map, press U so I could see my keyframes. And then I'm going to keyframe the particles bottom based off of these keyframes, right? So this, the center point will follow this line, okay? Because we're doing the bottom part. So I'm gonna zoom out here and start the particle system right about here and take that X position move it over and out. I mean, it's almost the right place. So I'm gonna put it about right there and I'm going to keyframe both X and Y. And then I'm going to page down and watch this kind of, so it'll go at about right here it looks like. So I'm gonna bring that X position over. Where is it? Oh, that's the Y. Never mind. Here's the X. There it is. So if you look very closely, you can see the particles on there. And what I'll do is I can turn up the birth rate so it's a little easier to see. And then we'll change the birth rate back down to 2.2. Uh, so bring, the, bring that particle system over here. And you can see just about the end of it is right there. And then drop it down to about here. And what we're trying to do is making sure that this lines up with the mat. So I'm going to hit U so I can see the keyframes on this as well. And go back to the beginning and then just turn up that Y position a little higher. So now let's see what we got. Boom, boom. May need to be even higher. And I'll throw this out even more. Okay, so it's really a trial and error situation that we're working with. I'm going to bring it even higher and out to the left. Okay, and that looks better. So now it looks like the particles are being blasted on with the line. And I even like the birth rate at 13. So I'll go with 10 because 13 is a lot. Um, all right, cool, it comes on like that. And that is our particles bottom. Now we need to create a particles top, so all you really have to do is hit Command D to duplicate it, press U, and um, we can delete these keyframes, right? 
and do the same thing up here. So go into our producer and let's just go to zero, zero. So we're back in the center here and start to move this guy into position. So our starting point will be up here. Actually, we're going to have to go back one frame and put it up there and start it right there. So just keyframe those, drop it down, page down, page down, page down. So it looks like it's going to end at about over here. So let's drop that Y down. Where are we? Here we are. And X. So just line up, line up your particles line with your mat. Okay, and um, we're gonna have to bring the Y up. And then this guy will bring the Y down. So maybe 0 0.42, maybe a little more, 0 0.44. 0.45 and I'll just bring this up to negative 0.62 and let's see what that looks like it does look like it's too high but it comes into place so that actually works for me. I'm happy with that. And guys, that is how you create the transition. Just like that. Um, remember, you guys can really switch it around. Um, you don't have to create a slash in your screen. You could create an X, um, maybe a circle. I don't know, a, a, a little twirl or something. Um, really mess around with this one. Play around with it. Have some fun. And that is how you create the little anime fidget spinner transition that they used in that corridor used in their video um, very Edgar Wright stylish that I love um, one little key to this trick is when you do a transition like this try to do a shot of try to do a wide shot into a close-up so not exactly what I did but you know if I had his head kind of fill the screen that would be a little bit better and guys, if you're new to video for it and this tutorial helped you out, please leave us a like and subscribe and hit that little bell icon right next to the subscription button so that way when we post a new tutorial, you'll be the first to check it out and you'll get that little notification. Alright guys, this is video for it. I'm Magic Bard and I'll see you guys on the next one.